What exactly is a high pass filter? So a high pass filter pays attention to the changes in the brightness and texture in your images. It finds the edges and highlights them. And that's how it creates the sharpening effect. Okay. It works like unsharp mask. And if you want to see a video on how to do that, you could check right here and go ahead and check that out. But let's get started. Okay. So what we'll do is let's go ahead and first things first, let's open up Photoshop, of course, pull up a layer and then we'll hit control J to make a copy there. Now what we'll do, let's head up to filter and let's convert for smart filters convert for smart filters here okay now what we'll do is let's head up to filter and then go down to other and let's choose high pass okay we're checking out high pass here um, let's start it at zero and see where we can build from now the idea here is to what I like to do is start at zero and then pull on over until we start seeing the edges. So let's do like so. That's a little strong. I think maybe 2.6 will work for this photo here. Hit OK. Now you're probably wondering, well, I only see gray. <laughs> this is true. So now here's where we focus on our blend modes here. So what we'll do with this layer selected, we'll hit up to our blend modes here and let's choose linear light okay now why do we use linear light because linear light is a dodge or burn that increases or decreases the brightness in your photo so in other words if your light source is more than 50 percent gray it increases the brightness and if your colors are less than 50% gray, it decreases the brightness. And that's exactly why we choose the linear light blend mode there. Okay, so now what we'll do is let's take a look at before and after. Okay, let's dial into about 100%. I think that works. Now let's check out how it looked before. There's the before, there's the after. Wow. Uh, pay attention to the hair right here. Brings the details out. Beautiful. That does a great job. Okay. Let's dial in the eye. See how the eyelashes are. That's the before. That's the after. And it doesn't look over overdone. It's not overbaked at all. High pass filter is a great filter. Absolutely. Okay, so that one is done. Only thing we have to do, save it and upload it to wherever we choose. Let's do another one real quick. We'll do the same thing here. Okay, so we have this photo. If you take a look at this photo, it looks pretty sharp. Like so. But if we zoom in here, um, Let's zoom into about 100%. It still looks good, but we can sharpen it. Let's see. So we'll hit a make a duplicate here. Control J, make a copy there. We'll do the same thing. Head on up to filter, convert for smart filters there. Now filter, let's go down to other and let's choose high pass. Okay, let's see. Let's dial in a tad bit. That might be a little strong. How about 3.0? Yeah, 3.1. Let's try that. We can always make changes if we need to. Hit OK. Let's do the blend mode again. Blend mode, let's go to linear light. You can already tell that it's going to be super sharp. And now let's do a before and after. Look at that. Look at the details. Now let's zoom in on her real quick. 
all the, the shine and the details on the face. That's the before. That's the after. Hair and everything. That is great. Let's see. Look at the the quality of the hair on this particular photo. That's amazing. That's the before. That's the after. It brought the details front and center. That is amazing. Okay. I look at the coat as well. Before. After. Makes it crispy. It really does. So let's set this back. All right. Let me show you guys something before we get out of here. So what we can do here. Let's make a copy real quick. And let's turn off these layers here. So if you wanted to do multiple, multiple high passes on different photos, only thing you have to do instead of going up here and then choosing filter and going down to other and then choosing high pass. Only thing you'd have to do with this particular photo or your new photo is head up to filter. And right here up top is where your settings are at. So instead of you doing it over and over again, you could just go up here to filter, click on high pass and you're ready to go because it keeps the same setting. So if you wanted to keep your images within the same kind of um, look or style or sharpening, that's it for you. OK, and I think that'll do it for this video. The links are always down in the box for any information you wanted to know. And like always, until next time, I'll see you in the next video.